hey everyone this is Naresh here and i'm back again with another video and in today's video we are going to review this particular product which is a wireless obd2 engine code reader very handy tool for your cars if you are having trouble with it well in this video i'm not going to go through the troubles or anything like that i'm just going to show you how you can connect it with your car and get an app on your android device actually you can also get the apps on iphones there are some great applications available so one of them i'm going to show you in this video this particular so this particular device come from this manufacturer which is called omoso if i'm pronouncing it right guys but i will be throwing a link into the video description better try that the good thing about this one is you do not need a bluetooth or a straight connection with it it's a wi-fi enabled device so you just plug it in and off it goes so simple is that all together in the package we have three things one is a user manual which is a very little bit and little amount of information our main part which is the odb reader which is a wireless as well and a disk actually which contains the software for windows pcs so let's have a look at the main part itself very handy and very very good features one feature i love the most about this one is got a power on and off button or all other odb readers i've not seen these sort of features actually and it's a wireless it's not a bluetooth it's a wi-fi one so wi-fi means you can connect it with your mobile phone device or your tablet if you like to and if you when you want it you can just press the power button the power light will come on top of it it will show you it's connected and right on the top again i would like to mention that to you guys that we have a power button odb button and a wi-fi button obviously whenever they are connected with respect to their connectivity so when this powered up light will come on here when the odb is connected in terms of with your more with your car it will work in that way and wi-fi as well this is the odb2 protocol one so you have to make sure your car is compatible with it as well please kindly do not ask me which cars are not or which are you would be able to find it just google it it will tell you which cars are odb or not in this video the car which i'm going to use a bmw 2003 model i'm going to pair this device with my android tablet actually and this and the application which i'm going to use let me show you and it's called odb car doctor you can download it from google play store very easy and just simply install it the way i have done it actually so let me plug it with my car and show how i'm going to connect to it and whatever i need to do well now as you can see that i have connected my obd2 protocol with my car as you can see that my car obd port was broken inside so i have to put it like that and now what i can do i can leave it inside or hang it just down in the bottom here mainly on the german cars you would be able to find them on the driver's side otherwise will be on the passenger side you have to look at the user manual of your car so first thing first what you can do once it's connected you can power it up right there as you can see that once you power it up you get the power light on and also the wi-fi light flashing so now technically we are able to pair with it actually being honest with you it's so simple and straightforward so what we're going to do i'm not going to look at it once once it's wi-fi connected this light will go solid blue and obd once we are connected and reading through the application so i'm going to leave it like that so first thing first you need to go on to your wi-fi now to connect with this particular device simply press on the wi-fi right here and you will get to see this wi-fi obd2 protocol there okay which is a straight wi-fi connection just simply select it once you select it connect to it there's no password whatsoever on it okay once it's connected go back to the home screen well at this stage you can start up your engine simple as that because odb protocol and everything start to work very easily so let's launch over the application which i've shown you in the beginning which is obd car reader let's open up now first thing you need to do is just connect to the wi-fi simple as that and you need to just wait actually what will happen all these options which are grayed out if they come up live that means you are connected obviously you have to have a couple of tries on it sometime sometime not actually as you can see that in my case it's just gone straight away now if you would like to see all the user data current data you can just go into the current data would you like want you to watch the what the engine rpm you simply go into the rpm there we go it's rpms are right here as you can see that you can see how responsive it is guys perfectly now that's about the recording edit but if you would like to see the widget here is a widget as a wow if you buy the pro version obviously it's going to give you a lot of freedom guys 
quite many things will come up with actually so let's go back to it and have a look at some other features you're going to have actually it's got a recording as well you can do a full version recording but that is only for the full version you got some widgets available too right here you got a fuel if you like to know about the fuels and everything it's a very handy tool if you would like to have it in your car being honest with you don't cost much and it's always there there are lots of softwares available which will let you if you got any fault on your car as well you can go into the diagnostics there we go this is all that there's no error on it if there's any error on your car it will appear up right in here as well then you can clear it or you can just save it away if you wanted to there's quite many instances there's a logbook is also available there you can create your own logbook using this particular application so that will be all from my side i've shown you how you can connect it what are these applications and what applications are suitable there will be hundreds of other applications available on google play store you have to try and everything but this worked great for me so that's what it is guys thank you very much for watching this video if you got further more questions please write in the comment section below i will be gladly answer any of your queries and further see you in next one soon guys Bye-bye.